Hello, YouTube. While many of our brothers and sisters are resisting against various factions of the machine, we have to remain diligent, diligent in our efforts to educate ourselves. How many of you have heard of the Trans-Pacific Partnership? I bet not many. It is big business showing its inferiority, whether we are addressing the desirability to the common man or the grade of excellence that it can offer to mankind, and not just to itself. I recently found out about this, I think it was at the end of last year. I am not exaggerating the importance of this when I say, if left unchallenged, it will be a surrender of the worst sort. We would be surrendering power over our lives to the corporations. It is a power grab they are engaging, one that will affect labor laws, health care, food safety, environmental protection, regulation of banks, internet rights, etc. Oh, not to mention, it will escort labor laws, labor laws out of existence. While there is so much, so much going on in our world, this would be a perfect time, people, not for division, but solidarity. We will not advance as a human collective without it. Yes, I know all of this is overwhelming and we cannot be focused on every ill in this world. We all have a life to live and we cannot be paralyzed by everything that's going on around us. But don't you see, this is exactly what they want. They want us to either clutch on tightly to apathy or to just preoccupy ourselves with so much that is going around that we basically become ineffectual. Flooding your opponent with issues and wearing them down like water does to a rock is an ancient tactic, people. We must comprehend the very real threat of transnational corporate power. In case you did not know, the current administration, long live Obama, along with its office of the U.S. Trade Representative, they have been negotiating after picking up where Bush had left off, negotiating what is called the Trans-Pacific Partnership. This has been occurring now for, I think, a little over three years. Of course, most of the activity has been kept hidden from us. A <laughs> big surprise, right? Though many corporations who are friendly to this project are well informed, no doubt. I cannot find details regarding the agreement, of course. It is obvious to me they're probably spending more of their time on language because language of any agreement is its lifeblood. Therefore, I wouldn't be surprised if more time is being invested in the language of the agreement to shape it according to what will benefit them most and hurt us the most. It is my understanding we know of this due to Congress members who supposedly leaked the information. Even this should be suspect, unfortunately that we have to question our Congress people, whether or not they are working against us in some fashion. However, that aside, information was leaked by them, and I assumed some of them were even afraid about the blatant corruption in our government. These Congress members claim TPP, otherwise known as the Trans-Pacific Partnership, is the largest corporate power grab ever the United States representative for Florida's 9th Congressional District, Alan Grayson, has stated, according to Popular Resistance, which is an internet news movement, well, he stated that TPP would undermine U.S. sovereignty. This group also went on to report that former U.S. Trade Representative Ron Kirk admits that if we, the people, knew what this was and what was within this agreement, it could not be signed. It would not be signed. We can also thank people like Lori, I will spell her last name, capital W, A-L-L-A-C-H. We can thank Lori, who is affiliated with 
Public Citizens and heads its Global Trade Watch division, for she has brought a lot of this to attention as well. This division monitors destructive trade deals like TPP. She is reported as describing it as NAFTA on steroids. Now that is deep if you understood what NAFTA is about. For those of you who do not know about NAFTA, N-A-F-T-A, I encourage you to do some research. I will help you get started. Under the guise of free trade, it has almost wiped out the most productive and important job sectors, agriculture, industrial, and manufacturing. Not to mention its assault on our sovereignty. So, this corporate hormone, otherwise known as greed, is affecting the development of this monster. Our corporations love, they love playing the Trojan horse. This is a proven method to trick the public. If our neo-feudal lords were not in our face enough, well, they wish to give more power to themselves by passage of privileges and rights, but also permanent constraints on government regulation. Our plates are overflowing. We have all kinds of things that are occurring not only in our country, but in various parts of the world. But we cannot give up. That said, do keep your eyes open for things like ACTA, A-C-T-A, or the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement. It threatens free expression and net neutrality. Some of you already know about this, but do bank on the reality that it will surface and surface and resurface again, okay? I encourage you to look into the Electronic Freedom Foundation. They have done much to help all of us. They have some interesting news about TPP. If there is one thing we should be willing to loudly raise our voices about and approach it from a standpoint of being very well informed, it should be this. We cannot continue to allow private business power to stomp on sovereign nations. We have to not fall for the invitation to feed at an all-you-can-eat buffet of emotionalism. We need to be aware. We need to employ our discernment. Thank you for listening.